All right, so let's take a quick look at Polybridge here. Polybridge is a game by some company with a weird name. What was it? Hold on. I was looking it up in the other screen here. It was something that stood out to me. Dry Cactus. I don't know anything about them. Um, it is on Steam under Early Access currently, so theoretically unfinished, I don't know. Um, it is currently, they're calling their current beta 0.70B, and um, it is seeing a lot of hype though. A lot of people are posting screenshots and little videos and animated GIFs of this over on the Reddits, and um, it's looking pretty funny. Now, I've, built, I've played with games that involve bridge building kind of things before. Um, I have not played this one yet. As soon as I boot into it, I'm actually still getting the tutorial because I haven't played it yet. Um, it does look like it's a little bit more cartoony and loosey-goosey, but it looks like it has a lot of potential for hilarity. So the basic of any of these bridge building games is similar. There's, you know, land, land, some sort of chasm in the middle, and you have to get people from one side to the other without your bridge collapsing to complete the level. So we've got our little guy here giving this tutorial, and that's it. I'm just going to play through what you see on the screen. Howdy, welcome to the fascinating world of bridge building. It's nice to finally have a helping hand. Not much for words. Let's jump right in. First thing, we need to build a road over the water. Build a road by connecting the two terrain joints. Okay. Click, click, click. Looks good. Now press on start simulation or press shift. Ooh, I like my hotkeys. Oh, that's very nice. So it's a fully rendered bridge building simulation here. Normally, you only get a purely 2D view. I love the fact that it sort of pans out, gives you that great low poly terrain field or feel. Level complete, budget used, max joint stress, online data not available. I wonder if it's because it's early access or I'm offline on Steam. That may be part of it. I love the idea that you can compare how you did with other people. I like the idea. There's going to be, these games tend to have a lot of replayability as you try to build bridges with uh, less and less and less and less material or, you know, minimizing joint stress just to maximize your own personal score that you might be going for. And what's interesting is these can be different things. Like you can be on one playthrough trying to minimize joint stress regardless of your budget, for example. So, a couple of different ways that you might consider playing it. Love the scene transitions. That looks great. A new state vehicle unlocked. So, the first vehicle that went through, that was a little moped. Pretty light. Station Wagon is certainly going to be a lot heavier. Uh, the Family Trip Classic. Make sure to pack all you need and don't leave your mother-in-law behind. Including passengers, we're looking at roughly 1.8 tons. Okay. Build the road by connecting the two terrain joints. We'll do that. It would not surprise me if this simulation was to demonstrate the fact that bridges collapse under heavy weight. Oh, no! We killed my family. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try again. Oh, you can share the replay directly. Smart. Oh no, that station wagon is heavy. Bring up the tool wheel by pressing the space bar or the middle mouse button. I'll use space bar. Now select the wood tool. So we had road and wood. Hey guys, I got wood. Strength 180 newtons. Max length two meters. Per meter cost 180. Basic building block. Most cost effective. Okay. Support the bridge by connecting it to the terrain joint on the rock in the water. Cool. Much sturdier. Hey, hey! Max joint stress pretty low. I guess the joint stress in the last one was really, really, really high. About to break, even with just the moped. All right. Uh, next. Once again, start by building the road. Will do, sir. Bring up the tool wheel and select wood. Ah, now we're going to build a classic bridge. Strong bridge, support the bridge joints by building a structure that distributes the weight onto the load-bearing terrain joints. Remember, triangles are your friend. And start simulation. That's a good-looking bridge. All right. Tutorial must be close. Oh, start a suspension bridge. Cool. Start by building a road across. Click, 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 click. Select suspension. Oh, and some of these maps might have limited number of parts or something. Okay, suspension. Um, suspension material makes it easy to create a pendulum-shaped wire with many joints. Perfect supporting long bridges when you don't have many supports below. Okay. So, oh, there's stacks of rock. So, that's our cable, I see. Or our main, the main suspension, like, cable or whatever you want to call it. And then, okay. And then we support it based on that, which distributes some of the weight. Ooh, it's wibbly wobbly. It's wibbly wobbly. All right, joint stress is pretty high, but you know, we made it through. Time to build a drawbridge. You can build drawbridges? I didn't see, I think I did see some animations of things sort of opening and closing. Okay, rectangle in the middle will show you where the ship will be going through. Oh, cool. All right, so, wait. 
So, do I want to build the road all the way across? Okay. Wood. Okay, so I'm expecting on this first go, it'll probably smash our bridge. Oh, okay. Wheel tool select hydraulic. Pretty strong. Can be pretty long. Okay, they can be set to either compress or expand. They're perfect creating shape changing bridges. Okay. Right click the joint to create a split joint needed to open the drawbridge. Ah! But it's still connected here. Oh no, it'll just pull up the middle bits. Does the drawbridge automatically trigger? It does automatically trigger when there's a boat. That's handy. Uh, yeah, okay, that fit. Cool. All right, liking this. Love the sound effects, too. Then we had to get two vehicles across. All right, we're still clearly in the tutorial. I'm going to appreciate this tutorial, though. Tutorial complete. Find more help in the top left menu. If you want to move a bridge joint, keep control pressed to enable move. If you want to delete, it's alt, undo, you hit Z. Middle click, rotate the camera. All right. New features unlocked. Visualize load bearing stress on joints. Toggling stress on and off from the top board. You can easily tell how much load stress each joint is under. Green means none. Red means lots. Okay, simple bridge. Station wagon. So, we have unlimited wood, road, and that is it. So we are on our own this time. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. I got this. I don't need your help. Oh, wait, what? Uh, uh, uh. I can't reach. I guess what I can do... I like the grid. This is very handy. Is build more triangles? Oops, that's not the right angle. Uh, what was it? Shift? No, control. Ah! No, not shift. <laughs> that runs the simulator. Control. There we go. That moves it. What about the middle part? Maybe more material than I need. Um, yes, thank you. Bet it works. Alright. I don't need to break any records. Give me another one. City car! Conquer the roads in fashionable and practical city vehicle. Low fuel consumption, lightweight. On those economical wooden bridges, pretty much an engineer's dream vehicle. Simple bridge, two city cars. Longer across. That's okay. Um, so we want to go into triangle mode with this. And then support it that way. actually may be sufficient. Um, I don't know. Do we think this is going to work? Let's find out. It's only going to kill a couple people. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh. oh, that is so not safe. 99% joint strength. Good enough. It worked. <laughs> Uh, simple bridge, two cars, wood. It's got a station wagon. Certainly needs a bit more strength. Uh, da -ba -ba -ba, da -ba -ba -ba. I want all the materials at some point. Uh, let's go about halfway there. Hmm. That's almost straight, but not really. Nice little music in the background. Hopefully it is not um, going to get me flagged in any sort of annoying ways. I should probably finish the triangle. Especially since we do have a station wagon here. Uh, I'm not convinced this is necessary. I wonder. Well, let's try it. If it collapses, we can add some more. Looks like we can change the simulation speed. That's nice. Nice and stable. 
Nice and stable. Probably don't even need as many bits as I put in. 54%? So if I say play again... Um... Well, that's not going to do anything. So we still need a connection like that. And like that. Yeah. Save, we saved, what, one piece of wood? Good enough. 98.4%. Yeah, we definitely couldn't take any more on there. We got a van. Live every surfer's dream by in style with a classic traveler's van, including kitchen equipment, surfboard, bro gear, and much more. Weighing in at a modest 2.5 tons. So it's slightly more heavy. Slightly heavier. Woo! Angle bridge. Slightly heavier than the um, station wagon. So. Okay. That is. Ooh. That is awkward. So no matter what, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be even. Can't fit an even number of thingies in there. It's supposed to go straight and then build up. I don't know. And we still just have wood here. This doesn't, this doesn't feel right. And yet, all right. Pretty high joint stress, but it worked. 10 meter jump, vehicle, scooter, material, wood. I have 10 wood and two road. Okay, this is where it starts to get fun because That's it. That's all the road we've got. So do we do a double one here, or do we do one like that? Or actually, I suppose this one could um, could do something like this. Give us, you know, a nice catch. I don't know what would be better. Let's start with this and see what happens. Um, so we got ten bits of wood. Well, obviously... Oh. All right. All right, let's see what this does. Oh, it goes down a hill. Nice. Wee! Okay, it actually seemed to go quite slow when it hit this notch here. Yeah, see, I think it slowed down a bit. So, I think the right thing to do is to eliminate this. And use a double road over here, and maybe not go quite as steep. Uh, cancel. Just like that, and then switch the road bits. Let's try that. Uh, we'll go and move that that way. Try this. Go, 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 go! Yee! Almost. Oops. A little steeper. Go! Yes! All right. Ah! 18 meter jump. A scooter and a city car. Uh, uh, what do I have? I have unlimited wood, five bits of road. Now, to get the most ballistic bang for your buck, you really want to be going 45 degrees. Okay, I'm out of road. So let's try that. Oops. 
Really? Thing I have unlimited wood. Over budget. Uh, there's no way this is gonna work. Let's try. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Oh, they go at the same time. Fantastic! 16 meter over bridge. Station wagon and a small tugboat. Alright, this will be the last mission. Then we gotta go and kill some Kerbals. So, unlimited wood and road. So, I mean, obviously we're gonna start with this. Good. Um, wait. Oh! I don't have hydraulics! So, okay. Come on. So I could jump. Actually, this is going to have to get cleared as well. But I don't have to. Because I could just elevate. Elevate. Right? And then from here, I mean, we don't have cable suspension or anything. And my budget. Budget is good. It looks terrible. Let's try it. Luckily, the boat goes first. I would hate for the station wagon to be on the bridge when the boat is going, because I think the station wagon is going to squoosh down the bridge a bit. Still have plenty of budget left. Ah! Since the stress is on, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, after the fact. Oh, okay. Maybe it said on, but it wasn't actually on. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we're getting our info. So it looks like there's a bunch of stress right here. Which makes sense, because there's quite a bit of weight there. Firestone, I trust that Quill is making structurally sound decision. I stress. Alright. Now, I'm concerned that simply adding more triangles here is actually not the solution, because it is going to add more weight. But maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's just too much weight right there. Would more of an understructure here actually make more sense?
to distribute the load here. Because that's the problem. There's just too much stress on this joint here. Can I strengthen it in a way that makes any sense? If I do something like that, does that make it better or worse? Certainly using a lot of material, although I have lots of budget. You see that one thing right here is still soaking so much weight. And actually, I'm not sure that this helps. Bring the speed up to 200. No. That way or the other way? Alright, that looks better. There's going to be more vert weight on the vertical pillars. Alright, still not great. Certainly used a hell of a lot of material. I'm sure we could make that a lot sexier, but there we go. That's going to be the last bridge. I want to peek at what the next one is. 12 meter drawbridge. Oh, I should make a drawbridge. Right, guys? So we go through there. And then we... Split joint. Nice. And then we switch to some wood. Actually. Yeah, no, we do have to do this. Can I pull the drawbridge down? I don't know if it drawbridges enough. So it feels like what we're trying to do is this, right? Can I get a sample? Oh, okay. I mean, I know the other side's not being supported. Yeah, hold on. Do I need the bottom bits? Let's get back to you. Let's just see what we can do with the top. And then, yeah, okay. And then just a little bit of extra support. And then I guess, oops, not a hydraulic. We can do that. There we go. Bit reddish in the middle. I'm a little concerned about the, um, the station wagon. This is the last bridge for reals. Then we go kill Kerbals. It's pretty red, but we made it. Oh, actually, 58.6. It was fine. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this quick little peek at Poly Bridge. Uh, it is available currently on Steam under Early Access, um, probably other places too, I don't know. Uh, what, do you think it's like my job to look at video games or something? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Wow, we were way under budget for that one. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, I might have to play some more of this. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this might be a good let's drunk. Every time I lose a car, take a drink, that would be bad. All right, thank you very much for watching, all you YouTubers, and I'll see you guys next time.